All right, I saw this uh, this quote here, Patrick, and I think it's legit. It's from Lakers Daily, a verified account on Twitter. Although anyone can pay like eight bucks a month and get a verified account on Twitter, but it's Lakers Daily on Twitter. And D'Angelo Russell was quoted as saying, he was asked about his defense. And D'Angelo Russell said, that's where I try to be better, but that's not what I do is play defense. <laughs> In fairness, yes. D'Lo played pretty well last night, but yes. uh, Mike, Mike Conley has now played all 51 games since the trade, and the Wolves are 33-18 and 18 in those 51 games. I saw that note from Dane Moore today that he played every 50, that all 51 games, and six, I think six back-to-backs now. Mm-hmm. And, uh, of course, so Finch was asked about the back-to-backs the other day, and uh, last night, and he said Conley gets upset when he asked him if he's okay. And... Uh, you know what? It's turned out he's a better shooter than I thought because he doesn't press anything when he's, you know, he shoots the three when it's there. It's yep. not like he comes over the timeline and said, I have to shoot a, I have to shoot a three now, but uh, man alive, what a, what a difference that makes 36 years old. And I, I'm trying to think, I guess the equivalent different, kind of player and and obviously more dynamic but it's chris paul right same i mean doing that well at 36 mm-hmm. chris paul isn't what he was though this guy's still what he was it's uh it's it's pretty incredible and what he's meant to him is just uh you know i mean finch can't finch i've, I've heard some finch talk about him about you know that's when everything changed here yeah, I mean, getting Cat back from injury made a difference too, but that's when everything changed when they got Connolly in there. So, anyway, yeah. I was. I, I also saw a note last night that uh, this was the highest revenue regular season game they'd ever had. Oh, really? Last night, so uh, they they must be into that premium. Everybody's into that premium charging, you know, for games, right? You charge more for certain games yep. the, they're doing it in hockey now too right judd they're doing yep. hockey the Wild's and doing it. uh they're doing it twins have been doing it for years well lakers is obviously a premium game but they've had some eighteen thousands this year where they padded it by you know go to hardy's get a hamburger and uh, or a beef sandwich and you can get a ticket for a buck but mm. this must have been a hard eighteen thousand dollar sell and of course, uh, of course Le- lebron then is as play. expected, probably on a back to back, winds up not playing. But you know. mm-hmm. well, they've gotten to the point now where you might say when you're buying your tickets, "I want to see LeBron," but now you're you don't you want to see the Wolves. You want to yeah, see the you Wolves now. See the Wolves. You don't have to worry about uh, and and LeBron. I mean, nobody can knock him for taking too many days off. He's averaging like 38 minutes or something, and I think he's. This is the second second or third game he's missed. It's, uh, you know, I, I was thinking about a month ago about him. It's, we were all young when he came in. We were all younger when he came into the league, man. That is a long time ago. And, you know, how many 18-year-olds arrive and are better than with his buildup, you know, cover of Sports Illustrated as a, what, high school junior Mm -hmm. and turn out better than than you thought they were going to be. It is it is incredible, and uh, the competitiveness of the guy is amazing. I had some bad thoughts about him. I don't know why I'm talking about him because he didn't play last night, but uh, I had some bad thoughts about him early when there was that video of a guy, the kid dunking over him, and he made sure the video didn't get out there because he was – such a sensitive guy and stuff, but uh, I'm all in on him as a, one of the greatest athletes in in my lifetime. He's certainly top five, top six, I think, of all time. Yeah. And and you know, it's hard to it's hard to beat Jordan, but uh, but the I don't think you can throw titles out there and say, okay, Jordan's won more titles. This guy has played. What was the stat? He's played damn near two seasons in the playoffs, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. it's unbelievable. The number of games he's played in the playoffs is just almost 200. And he still, when, when you see the list of players that are like 20 years into their career, and it's a very short list, you know, it's like yes. Kevin Garnett averaging yeah. two points a game. And yes, just, right. you know, I mean, yeah. he's still averaging. It's not like he's down to, oh, he's, he's still playing and he's averaging 15 points and, 
you know, 21 minutes. He's still playing like 35 minutes or something ridiculous, and he's averaging 26 and eight. Yeah. And it's, it's <laughs> I didn't crazy. see the actual moment Cat uh, limped off. Did how did it look? Yeah, it was it was late. Uh, I mean, mm-hmm. it it didn't look great, and they didn't knee. really give much of an update after the game. But it was some sort of like yeah, knee or it was kind of a weird deal toward the very end. So we're gonna. And he took off right away. He knew something went or something popped. Yeah, we're we're still waiting for more information. But he's day to day. I'm sure, Pat. I'm sure he's yeah, going well, to be day day to day. We're not going to tell but, anybody. Uh, are are know. the Wolves the only team, by the way, that has um, star power players and no none of them ever sit, or none of them want to sit? Like like, well, and I don't blame LeBron, but I'm just saying, like, when's the last time that Ant bailed or you know mm-hmm. Cat when when healthy or Gobert? I don't think that they have one guy that wants to actually miss games. Vince was quoted on that again last night, and I was heard him about three weeks ago talking about that. Is this is their philosophy? You know, is we're we're trying as you tried to change this team into a more competitive uh, bunch. Uh, we're going to play. You know, if somebody needs a day, because you know, and Cat right. probably won't play the next game no matter what. But uh, but it's if if you're if you're available, you play in a couple of games. Uh, Edwards has played when you wonder why, you know, because he wasn't mm-hmm. he wasn't fully back from that uh, brief injury he had, and uh, he can he can give us a little Carlos Go Go Gomez though too. Uh, last night when he went down with that ankle late in the game and look, ah, and then 12, 12 seconds later he's up and going around and uh, you know. So Ant can give you a little more dr- drama, but uh, you know, you know what I've noticed about him? <laughs> he can shake off anything. You know, I mean, we got the abortion. He, I, I, we don't know if the woman cashed the check for the hundred thousand for the abortion, but uh, you know, she showed off the check anyway. And that's some people consider this a great scandal. But like they go, they go to Philadelphia. They give up a bunch, and he comes out after the game. He says, "I don't know how anybody can beat this team. You know <laughs> that yeah. the beat is unstoppable, and they make all their shots. And I don't know how. You know, it's not like he's not defensive or complaining about the officials or anything. It's uh, how does anybody beat this team? They're fantastic. You know, it is like yeah, his de- his demeanor. You know, you think about not to compare him directly to the greats, but Michael Jordan was very he was he wasn't really playful as much. He was playful oh, sometimes, but he was yeah. on the court. He was a killer, right? Kobe mm-hmm. and then and LeBron, a little bit less of a killer. But it's it's amazing that he can go. Anthony Edwards can go back and forth between being a killer and then being the most yeah. jovial the sort of had, Teflon. The game ended last night. I thought he was going to give that Terry and Prince a big smooch at midcourt. It was like this big embrace and they were all over there talking to Prince and that's something about the NBA. A lot of people find it offensive, but I don't, that, you know, the game's over. Okay. Hey, we had three of these guys on our team and, you know, Hey, you know, nice seeing you. And we'll see you on December 30th, by the way. What, what is that? They're coming back. Why don't they just play? Why don't they just play in two nights? You know, I know. It's really stupid. just stay here for a couple nights and play again. Yeah, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is this is pretty amazing. It's uh, twenty-one and six. Uh, you know, I I don't know if they now if cats. You know, if you the thing about basketball is one injury. One injury can screw you up in basketball as much as losing a court. Uh, one good player in basketball is bad as losing a quarterback because. There's only five of you out there. That's, yep. you know, and you're playing, you know, in hockey, Judd, you know, the favorite kid's been playing 30, 30 minutes. But, yep. you know, in hockey, you know, you, you're not, you're not as, it's not as important to, to, if you lose one guy, you can get over. It. But, uh, but uh, in basketball, you lose one of your five, that's 20% of your team. So, uh, and that's what you fear is in basketball with injuries. But uh, man, they're a competitive group. They, uh, you know, they. I wasn't. I don't think any of us were surprised they got their lunch handed to them in Philadelphia. But as you, as we were talking about yesterday, if they're gonna, if they're gonna officiate it so you can't touch Embiid, you're in trouble. <laughs> anyway, nobody's gonna beat them. 
Yeah, and I don't I mean, and and obviously they've got and between Embiid and Maxi, those guys are awesome. But are those guys really going to combine for like eighty six points every time you play them? That's what they mm-hmm. they literally two guys combined yes. for eighty six points in that and game. And the Wolves still came back. Like like that. That's the thing. A year ago at, at halftime, they just fold up the tent. Mm-hmm. They actually came back and led. But but back to Ant. Do you know what Ant's got personality wise? He's got a lot of puck to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's got a lot of that puck to him because I mean, yeah. Puck had some stuff going on behind the scenes oh, we yeah. might not have known about. Came but on, puck... it came out a little later in his career than uh, right, did, but it was know, going on. Puck, let's just say Puck's lucky there wasn't the ability to screenshot things and blast them out to millions of people. <laughs> but he's got that. He's got that puck. You know, he's just likable. Yes, yeah, he does, and he's casual. And I, we don't know what it's like when he want we when it's. Like when he comes into the clubhouse in the locker room, we don't know if everybody, right. you know, is jumping around. And but the thing about Puck was that always made him unique to me is seven fifteen in the morning in Fort Myers, he comes in, and there's you know people looking at their phones and running around and it's complete chaos within <laughs> moments. It's complete chaos. And guys with 86 on their back of their uniform are needling him. You know, it's, I mean, he invited the, he invited the uh, chaos and, uh, and, the, and that personality. And, and you're right. That's a good comparison. Edwards is the, the big personality that, you know, likes girls. <laughs> You know, yeah. so, exactly. Yeah. So that's. Uh, I mean, we do, and I think like every time, not to you know, listen. Like, I don't think anyone is. He's got to clean it up in some areas, yeah. and he's had he's had a couple things in the last year yeah. or two. But it is, I think the, I, I think what what hasn't changed is, I mean, look at some of the serious Kobe accusations from twenty years ago. Yes. I mean, Ben Roth is like when you're a twenty to twenty five year old athlete that that's making mm-hmm. crazy money. A lot of them act like idiots and they're not mature. And the, the biggest adjustment for them is, okay, you're going to act like an idiot and you're going to make some mistakes. You also now have to account for the fact that one screenshot, one one Instagram post, one TikTok mm-hmm. post, yeah. everybody knows your business now. So yes. tighten it up. And and I also got news for you. The team releasing, a, we, we've all listened to Ant's hip hop language, right? I mean, he talks like a, you know, a hip hopper. And now we now we get these dramatic uh comments about you know the the latest thing and very well, obviously you know, a, P- a PR Ant. crafted Don't tell statement. us that Ant saying this. He doesn't that he did not say that. He said, you know, whatever you want to release, go ahead. But that's not him. And uh I I think that the fact that he can shrug this stuff off and now now the I think that gay bashing he did sincerely knew how bad he screwed up you know and he uh, you know i think he he's gonna you know he made some outreach on that so this one is a little more personal one-on-one so yeah and, let's anyway, just say he's, he's not the he's not the only player in the nba I, I told you guys and i won't go into the whole thing but i had there's an nba player like 15 years ago that came in studio at the other radio station i was working at and he explained how relationships in the nba work and oh. let's just say it's not at all how relationships work in the non-NBA world. But he said, yeah, this is a very common across the NBA that this is sort of how things work. And I, I was do. kind of blown away by it being, you know, a, a kid from uh, Buffalo, the, Minnesota. Uh, I told you guys the story about an unnamed uh, Wolves backup from Phoenix about 15 years ago when I was down there. I went to this, I was down there. We, the wife and I spent three, four days on vacation. And then we, I, I flew to the Sun Bowl to see Mesa's team lose to Oregon. Oregon? Yeah, Oregon. Well, but, I thought they beat uh, Oregon. In, or they lost the to Oregon once take, and they beat him. The guy taking me to the airport in the morning told me that, you know, the bas- your basketball team was here, the Timberwolves. He found out I was a sports writer and, uh, and he said, yeah, that's uh, blank, blank. I brought him out three hookers in one day. <laughs> he did the driving. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. And the guy was inactive in the well, basketball no, he was sense. So. Oh, he was active. He yeah, was he very was active. active. <laughs> he was not a DNPCD, okay? Let's just yes, say that. It's, uh, it's a different world, and uh, we can, uh, you know, 
we can accept that and we don't expect that uh you know people are gonna you know the the, the it's none of our business in the public domain i don't think you know yeah. now this when it when the woman chooses to put the screenshot of a hundred thousand dollar check out there that's going to become a story so no. That player wasn't know. the DNP CD. He was a DNP STD, I think. Yes, yes, well, yes. Well, that's but another anyway, problem. That's been anyway, another problem. It's, uh, it is a team a that is, uh, it is a rare team that loves to compete. It's yeah. amazing. The, the kumbaya compared to what you thought you saw a year ago is amazing. And I think you can trace it all to the day they got rid of D'Lo and brought in Mike Connolly. Well, that's, uh, the, that's the day they got serious. They yeah. went from they went from being and D'Lo has good games and I think he was pretty good last night. He had he actually had three yeah, blocks in the game. He tried to bring him back a little bit at the end. Yeah. So. But he's an unserious leader yes. of a franchise. Mike Conley yes. is a professional leader of a franchise. That yeah. that is true. Meanwhile, the hockey team steals another one and uh, over to over after I was bad mouthing three on three, they've scored three on two well, three on three goals. First of all, though, last night's OT, Pat, was exactly – until they, until Kirill scored, it was exactly what you were complaining about, though. We were going back into the zone and passing the puck back to Gustafson, and it was everything that you had complained about. But then Kirill – and Kirill finally looks like Kirill. They, they're right. without Hartman, Zuccarello, Brodeen, and Spurgeon, and Kirill finally looks like he should. So, And Faber is – that's an unbelievable story. Mm-hmm. He's a kid. He's playing 30 plus minutes a game. <laughs> and to, yes. that, that, that's like more than Suter played in his like that's Suter yeah, was yeah, playing Suter like 30, 31. Talk about Suter playing 28. What are they yeah. playing? Fa- Faber is not g- going in between periods to stare at his stat sheet to make sure he's playing enough either. He knows he's playing <laughs> enough. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's incredible. Yeah, it's uh, it is. And uh, what is this now? Nine and two? Nine and two with this yep. guy? Or- yeah, That's they've amazing. been great with Heinz. They, yeah. They've been great, and yeah, they're they're. I mean, it's it's being slapped together with duct tape because yeah. of all the guys out. So that who's that's playing the defense thing with two of them missing? Oh, they dressed seven last night because they they lost Hartman, or they announced that he wasn't going to play right before the game. So instead of dressing six, they dressed seven. But Faber and Middleton are playing an absolute ton. But then they've got this uh, Hunt kid. They've got um, this. Mermis kid. So like they're just they're basically throwing guys out there. Montreal's not that good, but they're but they're plucky. They try hard. How's uh Louis grandson playing? He got a goal the other day, I saw. Uh yeah, right. he blocked a shot against Boston and I thought he would died because he looked I really? think he it was a Marchand shot and he looked like he was they they basically had to lift him to the to the dressing room, but he came back and played last night. You know what? He's a very serviceable bottom six player. Mm-hmm. Good. He's not bad at all. Good. Well, that's so. I, 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 I was looking for Grandpa the other night when he was in the lineup, but uh, he's uh, Louis. I can't imagine. Maybe Louis can't take it. The nerves. Oh, that's nerve, very possible. You know that. Nerves, he, I mean, he, he might, quit the North Stars because of that. His head might explode. Yes. So his doctor yeah. said you're going to die if you don't quit. He's like, okay, I'll quit. <laughs> the most impressive thing let. Last night, though, Pat was uh, was Kaprizov got cheap shotted along the boards, and who jumped in to fight the, the guy that cheap shot at Kaprizov? Marco Rossi, first fight oh, of his life. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he's what is he? What what's his size? What's his five he, nine? And the guy he fought was like six three. Is that all he is? Okay, because Boldy's a big kid. And Boldy oh, had yeah. a hit the other night. I was watching the game. They had a hit that it was. I think it was his fourth of the year. I think he had three official hits. <laughs> See, that's how you know they're buying into a new coach. You got five foot nine guys, you know, jumping mm-hmm. into the fray to fight. Yeah. You got mm-hmm. guys who don't normally get physical. They're now, playing when for he each other. To, when this guy came into Nashville, they actually played good for what six weeks or something, and then the shutdown came because of COVID, and then they ended up. Did they? Right. Did they even make it to the? Well, they they didn't even. I, I don't think they they made the. Uh, well, they. The play-in tournament, which then be- became the oh hell, let's just call it the playoffs. Yes, I, that's why. When every time the Wild say they made the playoffs all these straight years, I say, no, you didn't. You told us that it was a play-in tournament. You can't say <laughs> the ninth and tenth place teams in the NBA or the seventh, eighth, ninth or tenth teams 
made yep. the playoffs until they win the play-in game. So. Well, this is the most disappointing thing about the Wolves season. They're probably not going to have a chance to defend their back-to-back play-in championships. You know, mm-hmm. they've they've uh, they've won the play in two years in a row and they're not going to have a chance to make it three play in championships in a row. I just looked up the uh, power rankings and some of them have us number one, uh, the Wolves, and some of us have us number two behind Celtics. Boston. But they got the Boston and uh, nationally. The, everybody's really in on this team because they Normally they defend, but not all the time. You know, some nights they get ripped up like they did by MB. There, there's but, one the, the the main national talking head that's all in on the Wolves, like NBA Finals all in, is Ryan Russillo, who does a podcast on the Ringer with uh-huh. it's him and Bill Simmons do stuff together. But Ryan Russillo has is the first national like big time national media guy to jump in and say, I think the Wolves can actually win the championship. Mm-hmm. So, of course, so. the, as I said, the whole thing in modern sports is who gets hurt and who doesn't. You know, if you yeah. if you if you go in there fully loaded, uh, yeah, yeah, they, you know, that's it's going to be fun. Get, you know, I think that place will be jumping more than it was in '04, and it was jumping in '04 when they yeah, had the good fun. team. But I think you got a younger crowd probably now than even he had no four. So it's a, it's a different crowd. It's a, it's a, the young crazy crowd. I I told you the the six weeks ago I was in there and, and, uh, uh, somebody made a, aunt made a pass to Reed and Reed hit a shot and that became a triple double and the crowd knew it. Then yep. he got an assist. I said, ah, attention. four Smart minutes fans. to go, and the crowd knew that knew that Ant needed a, you know, a, and the other thing is, they got the best TV team they've ever had too to yep. sell the team because uh, I don't know uh, no bad mouthing of the previous play by play guy, but uh, this great is really good. Jim, Jim Pete is really Hold good. Back yeah. court side, though. Okay, Target Center. Okay, Glenn. Put, yes, put him yeah. back court side. Oh, Jim Pete go. takes shots. Jim Pete's great. He'll just take sort of subtle shots about it'd be nice to hear that if we were court side. <laughs> yeah. Well, one of a Grady last but, night, there was Anthony Edwards should have had an and one. You could hear you could hear he goes, You could hear that slap from all the way up here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, Jim uh, Pete's got the binoculars for half the game. Too. I don't it's think uh, I don't think it was Glenn Taylor moving him up there either. I think it was uh, the the new guys are making a lot of uh, mm. uh, you know pre owning the team decisions and uh, they want to uh, squeeze every dollar out of it. So yeah, yeah that's the bad part of a make a good playoff run. Ten minutes after it's over, the new owners are going to tell us they need a new state, a new arena. So. Yep, yep. You know, and so, this goes with the uh, $68 million fence and the 200 and some million dollar removal in uh, re- remodeling there at uh, at the X. We going to come up with a billion, a billion and a half dollars for a uh, team? I don't think so. Yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna find some private private financing for some of this. So, yeah. Pat, we got We got to run to uh, Purple Daily here, but uh, enjoy your. Who who wins? Vikings or Lions at? Vikings USB. win. Uh, Vikings win on uh, on on Christmas Day. Vikings. Okay. Win, okay. I think. All right. All right. See you. Bye. Merry Christmas, Pat. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, same to you guys. Goodbye. We'll talk to you next week sometime. Hey, uh, for all of you guys looking to deep clean your home out there. You're already preparing mentally for holiday gatherings, family gatherings, uh, mentally prepare for a, a dirty house potentially too. reset in the new year by calling zero res zero res has a 4.9 rating out of five stars on Google with 17,000 reviews. And right now you can get three rooms, zero resified starting at just $129 Call zero res today at nine, five, two, zero res or zero res Minnesota.com. Say you want the score North special. Make sure you say that to get, Three rooms, zero resified for 129. Spell it forward or backwards, it spells the same. Zero res.